What's going on guys? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. And my god, what have the elves been up to while we've been asleep? Elsa has frozen one of the elves that Ella has just found, so just check this out really quickly. So Queen Elsa has frozen solid this elf. This elf. <laughs> elf. What? She's frozen them, aren't she? Yeah. Well, she's froze one of them. Bath bombs and these are mums. No, they're they yours. The bath bombs. We gave you the bath bombs out of the calendar, so you can use these in your in the these bath. These are mums, are they? Yeah, but she could do your nails with them. So as you can see, the elf on the shelf has been frozen solid with this. It's actually froze it solid. Who made it an ice cup? How should we get him out? Don't know. We'll have to we'll have to put the hot water on him and get. And get him out. Yeah. Well, that's the girl elf, isn't it? We we'll have to get her out. Yes. Make sure you don't touch the elf. Who's that girl? Is my that elf? That girl elf? Yeah. That's called Mia. Oh, she called Mia. Yeah. Right. Mia the elf. Yeah. Well, Mia's in a bit of a pickle because she. Frozen solid. Do you do you that um daddy mm -hmm. and mummy? Do you think one? why do you think she just froze her? I don't know. Why didn't she freeze all the other elves? Because her they like the other elf is on the shelf. Alright, so we're back home now. It's been a bit of a blur of a day because we took the camera out this morning when we went to Vanellope's play. We had every intention to vlog and um, being around Asda and, and going other places that we went today but we didn't because we just forgot about the camera and it was raining and it was pissing down and it was just horrible. So we're back home now. I'm just gonna just gonna do the uh, advent calendars that the kids did do this morning. So it's Porsche's turn to open the frozen slime and then it's Basin's turn to open the Revel RC car one. I hope you get butter slime. Not butter slime. Um snow slime because Vanellope's had every single one of them. Normal slime. That gate what? What colour is it? Orange. Orange. Right, so it's day 12. I think these are going to be the first set of wheels. <coughs> How many wheels is there? Two. So the car has now got a set of wheels. Let's have a look at them. A skidge. Pure skidge. So I've got to tell you, this um, remote control car is um, its turning out to look really, really, really amazing. Look at it, the wheels are on it now. We've got the front section, which I probably think is going to be the wheels, some of the front wheels. But this, for I think it was, was it £12? Or I can't remember, you'll have to go back in previous vlogs and see. Um, but this, I'm going to get them this every year. They're supposed to do a different car or vehicle. Last year was a helicopter, I think the year before was the X-Wing from Star Wars and then obviously this year is this remote control like doom bugger type thing like a monster truck so this is going to be uh, amazing when it's, look for the price you'd pay that, you'd pay double that for a remote control car so um, it's coming together really well, it's really easy to, to stick together for the, for the kids um, and then at the end of the day, on, on Christmas Eve, they're going to get to play with it as well, which is an absolute bonus before Christmas. So um, I would definitely, if you've got any boys, or even if you've got a girl and they're into stuff like this, I would definitely get the Revel remote control car because it is absolutely amazing. So Revel, well done. All right, guys, it's that time of the night again where me and Sarah sit down and we open our <coughs> FA calendar. Sarah's going to be opening three today, remember? She's got the nail varnish one. She's got the um, bath bomb, like, bath stuff one and then she got the beauty one and obviously I've got the Star Wars or Lego Star Wars one as well so without further ado we're going to get into it. It's Labour versus Conservative versus SNP. It's the uh, general election just before I start and uh, the Conservatives have got a majority and I've as as like a proper working class family and from a working class family background me and Sarah um, We've always voted Labour and this time we voted Conservative because we genuinely believe they're the only ones that can get us out of this Brexit uh, safely. And I know there's a lot of people that think they're going to sell the NHS and everything else, but um, I just think that's a pipe dream. I don't really think that's going to happen. We're not going to be Americanised 
um, but you know we'll see but anyway enough of um, election bullshit and now on to um, advent calendar bullshit we are on day 12 I got a good feeling about this I think it's gonna be a rolled up tenner <laughs> What do you think it is? Uh, either a lip gloss or a nail varnish. That pause tells me that I'm right. Oh my god. Another telephone wire. Telephone wire. <laughs> At least we can call each other now. We just need a couple of tins. I know. So, next. We've done that one. This one will be door six. Did we open this one today? Yep. Yeah. Goes in twos. Mm. You'll skip it tomorrow and you'll open it on the 14th. What do you think it is? Uh, well, it's got to be a bar of soap. It is. I was right. It smells the same as the last one. Yeah. All made from the same, just coloured differently. Not even coloured differently, I don't think. They're not the same colours. The and these one. are the nail varnishes. I better, I better know what's in the door number two, door number six. I bet it's nail varnish. Ooh, I bet, I bet you are. I bet it's yellow nail varnish. Plum. Yeah. Like a bit paler in it. Mm. But it's really nice. It's really pretty this. Mmm. Might have to put some of that on my nails. I like that one. So that's it, we're done. Let's see what Dave's got. Alright, so we're on door 12. Um mini build yesterday. Uh what was door 10? Was a mini build. Eh, uh, what are you going for? Mini build. Never mini build. No. There's a mini figure. Yeah. This is called, the name for it is uh, the cheese grater. That's what Andrew Ainsworth nicknamed it when he um, when he like created the the suit for this. So I'm gonna build him quickly, and then I'm gonna come back. All right, so here he is. It's uh, an Imperial Gunner. That's good. So this is helmet that I was telling you about. And at the back here, it doesn't show you on this, but it's got like holes in it, like a cheese grater. And that's why they nicknamed it the Cheese Grater Helmet. So, yeah, it's quite, it's quite good. All right. Yeah. Max is trying to get in your way. Do you want to be on camera, Max? Random cowboy. <laughs> Max, <laughs> what's up? You look so sophisticated today. You sophisticated man, aren't you? <clears throat> Max, what do you want? You want a treat? Max. Max. You got rid of your cat cough now. Okay guys, I thought that would just check in for a little minute because I bought a few things today. In fact, I bought some baby clothes. I'll show you them in a minute. Get... Excuse you. <laughs> Move, don't sit, sit on the clothes. Um, I bought the boys today. So we went in, when we went into Asda, um, we've seen these Nerf tops and they are just the best Nerf top that I've ever seen. So we got one of these for Christmas Day and we got a pair of pants to go with it. So I'm just going to show you this top properly just so you can look at it. And you can see the clothes on it are just so good. I don't think they'll be able to wear it. Oh, saying that, it's paint splats in it. If it was snow, it's not. So it will be okay to wear after Christmas as well. And then... They did these pants to match. I don't think they're actually Nerf pants, but they do 
match the top so they're just like this combat kind of style and they're just like skinny fit which is really good just one minute um and they just look really nice and they just picked a Porsche up in fact let me just tell you how much the top was the top was eight pound and the pants were nine pound they only had one set in that asda so dave's got to pick the other set up from the asda near their school tomorrow but he's got to take these pants back because he tried them on today and they're too big i actually got them in um i think i got oh, 10 to 11 because they are looking like really tall now but just certain pants just don't fit them properly on the waist so we'll just swap them over tomorrow and then hopefully she'll be okay in fact i didn't even get them to try the tops on silly me um i might just get them to try it on quickly in the morning just in case we need to change that as well because i got that i got that in 10 to 11 but the t-shirts seem to always be okay so hopefully that'll be all right what do you want eves what do you want to kiss do you want to say hi to everybody can you just sit down? You're all over the show. Sit. Sit. <laughs> Why does she think it's playtime when you tell her to sit? Sit. Right, sit. No. Sit. 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 <laughs> what are you doing, crazy dog? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, it's time for bath and it's time for your bed. Okay, I was going to show you, show you, show you <laughs> the baby girls, but Rora's actually got one on tonight, so I want to show you the full set together. So I'll show you them tomorrow because I can show you Aurora in the one that she's got on as well. So I will be vlogging tomorrow, by the way. I was going to vlog today, but it doesn't really matter because I got an achievement done today so and we couldn't have vlogged doing that so <laughs> could we I couldn't have vlogged at the studio so I was at the studio today just like doing some stuff that I needed to sort out but anyway I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will see you guys tomorrow tell them about Definitely. Saturday oh yeah and then we're going to York on Saturday um, York? It's York, yeah. I, I love how you tell me like 24 hours before. You told me it was fucking Yorkshire. You missed out the Shire on it. <laughs> no, it's York. Um, so it's about an hour and 17 minutes away. So that will be fun. We get to go there. We put in ice skating for half three. Curtis was going to come because... But he can't come, sorry. Um, because he's got to work. And because he works for the police, he really can't get out, out of it. So we're going to borrow his car and it just makes it easier. We don't need him. I'll just drive his car. So I'm looking forward to that. That should be a good vlog. And I'm just trying to think what else. Oh, in fact, I'll show you this. This came today. I bought this. I've been buying little bits off Etsy. And this is called Liquid Glow. Um, it's a highlighter. And it's called Peach Champagne. And I put it on my hand today, I might just put it on in a minute just so you can have a look. And it's, it actually looks really nice. I think the help is crying. Um, so I'll put this on my hand now so you can just see what it looks like. I can't remember how much I paid, I'll check. And, but the bottle is so tiny. Like, I was expecting it to come and it was going to be a massive, like, bottle, but it was, <laughs> it's not even, it's probably the same size as one of them nail varnishes. But not to worry. So I'll put it on and let you see it quickly before I go and get a bath. So I'm just going to pump it on and it comes out like this. But oh, I'll probably put too much on there actually. But maybe it's best if I just do that anyway just so you can see how shiny it is. And it's, it looks really nice, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Obviously when you've got your makeup on and it actually smells like... Um, tanning motion all right guys we are going to end today's vlog i hope everybody's enjoyed it even though it's a bit sporadic again and we're still like kind of not getting into it and kind of are getting into it there's uh it's just really stressful at the minute this time of year especially for me and sarah it's just it's just 
become an absolute nightmare this Christmas. Uh, I'll be glad when the 26th is here so we can, in fact I won't, I'll be glad when the 24th is here so we can finally enjoy it properly because um, yeah, this year has been a complete blur. But I'm sure we'll we'll discuss and talk about that and, and other bits and pieces. But the Conservatives are in amazingly. It's uh, it's unbelievable what the Conservative Party have got into to power. So um, read into that whatever you want to do and um, dissect it however you want to do. Um, hopefully we'll get Brexit sorted out and um, no one no one will lose hospitals and um, and education and all the other. Um, things that people are fearing that might happen. Um, fingers crossed it won't. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click, 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 click the notification bell. It does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can. You can, but I always like to say it. And we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.